Hello and thanks for joining me. It's finally done. My 1993 Mustang Cobra's engine has been reassembled. In my last video on this project I installed the rebuilt heads and went over the torque specs and the order for tightening the head bolts. I also installed the roller rockers and push rods. Get over to the fully assembled engine here. Since that last video I've installed the valve covers and the headers along with hooking the headers up to the rest of the exhaust. And the lower intake was also done which includes the fuel lines, heater hoses, smog tube, engine ground cables and all the electrical connections. Then after that the upper intake was uh, installed along with the vacuum lines and throttle cable. Then came the spark plugs, the spark plug wires and the distributor. After I got the distributor installed and properly timed all that was left was the serpentine belt the battery and then oil and coolant everything went together pretty smoothly I had to have a little bit of assistance uh, positioning the lower intake into place with the gaskets and everything just to make sure the gaskets didn't move and I got everything to line up while I was uh, maneuvering the lower intake into place what made it a little more difficult was having the strut tower brace still installed that limited I had to limited my available space and I had to get the lower intake through the strut tower and then underneath before I can position it. So that made it a little bit more difficult, but I didn't want to spend the time taking the brace off and reinstalling it. It's been on there for over 25 years and it's nice and solid connection. I didn't want to mess with anything there. Well, let's go ahead and start it up so you can hear what it sounds like. Got my one Recaro seat here. Years ago, I shattered the rail on the original seat. Okay, let's get in and start it up. As you can see, it shows what I can't really quite see the four, but 47,969. You can add another hundred thousand to that, and that thing turned over a long time ago. So, since the rebuild, everything's gone well. Uh, the engine runs extremely smooth very quiet no more ticking noise no more rough idle you know that was due to the broken valve spring on the number three cylinder uh, the car revs very smoothly very quickly basically feels like a new engine um, one thing I have noticed too is the exhaust note is a little different than before it's a little deeper I guess that has to do with some of the work that was done internally to the heads but other than that, the car pretty much, um, you know, feels the same. Does, excuse me, does feel like it's making a little bit more power. I've noticed that the rear tires break loose a little sooner than before. Not that it wasn't easy to break, you know, the rear tires loose on this little Mustang, but now they happen earlier at a, or at a earlier RPM, at a lower RPM, the tires break loose. So it definitely seems like it's making more torque than before because of that situation. But as you can tell, I mean, you can listen here, the motor's running great. It revs smoothly. No hesitation, no popping. So far, so good. Go ahead and get back outside the car while it's running here. Yeah, this whole project took a little longer than I expected just because it was hard to find the time to you know work on it while I'm uh, working and uh, watching my kids uh, but it all came together uh, pretty smoothly uh, no major setbacks or anything I did have after uh, final assembly I did have one small coolant link back here I don't know if you can see them there these heater hoses here I had one of them there it was leaking from the the heater tube down there I had to uh, reposition that and retighten that and so far that's been dry had no other issues no vacuum leaks or anything it went together pretty smoothly um, about the only thing I had uh, not necessarily had an issue with but had to figure out the right way was to get the distributor installed and to have it uh, timed and everything with the engine 
because um, initially I removed the distributor and I marked everything to keep track of the placement, you know, and orientation of everything so I can put it back in. But during the install process, I had to turn the motor over several times, so all that positioning was lost, so I had to start from new. Uh, stay tuned for my next video. I'll go ahead and detail how I went ahead and got the distributor installed and timed properly. It was a pretty easy process. Uh, I've seen a couple videos on YouTube that kind of talk about it, but they usually have the engine you know, hooked up on a machine and it's out of the car. And so and some of the information on there was kind of, um, it didn't make sense to me. So my engine builder told me exactly how to do it over the phone and it was a piece of cake. So I'll go ahead and cover that in another video. But for now, um, this project is complete. Um, really don't have anything else planned for the car right now. I need to get some new rear tires put on and before I do that I've always wanted to uh, shred off the old ones so hopefully I can get a video of that burning off the old rubber before I replace it but other than that the car runs great the engine sounds perfect um, I have yet to push it beyond about 4,000 5,000 rpms I want to get a little few more miles on the engine before I go ahead and rev it all the way out so I've been kind of taking it easy on the car right now but yeah, the noise is gone, the rough idle is gone, runs great, feels like it's making more torque. But uh, I'll get back to you on that once I'm able to rev it up a little further. Well, Alright, well thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this whole series informative. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, don't forget to browse the channel and subscribe. Thank you very much.